Hey guys, Tori here from Overlook Horizon. Uh, coming to you live today, we're going to do a quick uh, quick little live video here, show you some of the things that went on for yesterday's flight. Um, so this video is specifically for uh, our Twitter, Periscope users, and also the YouTube uh, uh, subscribers as well. Apologies for uh, all those people that tried to watch it live yesterday. Uh, we had such bad mobile data yesterday that we could only support one live stream um, at a time so we were only live on Facebook yesterday um, so unfortunately that meant we couldn't get live on YouTube to the regular YouTube link that we were supposed to be at live but if you head on over to our Facebook page you can see the live video from yesterday if you're curious to see what went down and to see the launch itself because uh, that is still there and will be up and we'll also upload a copy of that to YouTube as well um, not that you necessarily have to go watch the whole thing but in case you want to see bits and pieces of it um, so let's talk about yesterday's launch. Um, we had a, uh, a couple things go down for yesterday's launch. Um, we started the day off, things were going well, we were all set up and ready to go. We did, uh, you know, the first thing that went wrong was our mobile bandwidth was just too low and we couldn't support the YouTube stream. Um, but once we got that, um, you know, once we kind of, uh, let's see, conceded that we weren't gonna, um, not going to be able to broadcast on YouTube. Then things started to go smoothly, at least in the sense that the the countdown started. Um, we started filling everything up. We got the balloon filled, and then um, once the balloon was filled, we noticed that there was a hole in our 1,200 gram Kmon Totex weather balloon. So unfortunately, that really put a wrench in things. Hole in the balloon is, is no good. It was a small hole, but as that balloon gets bigger, that hole's gonna get bigger and stretch, and it's hard to tell what would happen after that. It's possible that it may have uh, ascended to altitude, maybe a little slower, might have gone up, burst, come back down, it would have been, wouldn't have been a real issue. But on the, the worst case scenario end, it might have gone up, stretch so much that it started letting helium up and then we'd start to float and we'd get a really long flight because it wouldn't get up to burst altitude and actually break it you know it could get to the point where it just it leaks so much gas that it floats up there and then it floats back down um that's kind of worst case scenario so instead of um instead of risking it and trying to uh, trying to see what happened. We have backup. We had a backup balloon. We had backup helium. So we deflated the 1200 gram balloon, inflated our 800 gram backup balloon. So it was a smaller balloon. Um, and we flew that. Um, so that took, that made, uh, the flight about an hour delay from what it was supposed to be. Um, so we, uh, we still ended up with the same landing zone. Uh, we re-ran our predictions, re- calibrated our lift amount um, so we had the right amount of helium for the new size balloon um, and then we launched um, 50 55 minutes about after our planned launch time so it was about an hour delay launched flight went really well silver lining to that you know something that actually was really cool still still trying to find it I haven't gone through all the video yet I've kind of just bounced around but uh, one of the things that was cool is about 20 minutes after launch we did have a pretty cool or pretty close um, commercial plane flyby and by pretty close I mean it was uh, our flight was at 20,000 feet and the commercial plane was at 38,000 feet so you know we're it was 18,000 feet separating our flights um, but it flew very close at least from the ground it appeared very close um, although I've yet to find the video of that I kind of bounced around quickly trying to find the video of that plane flyby but I couldn't find it um, so we're gonna look for that and see if we can isolate that and show show that so so the flight progressed pretty well. Um, this is the first flight that had a third camera on it. So we had two side cameras, one upward facing camera. Um, the goal of the flight was to get video of the balloon burst. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get video of the balloon burst. That camera died uh, before we actually got, um, got video of that. And we'll take a look at that video in just a second here. Um, but let me finish the, uh, the launch day stories and then we'll go right to video and start checking out some of those. So. Um, so it went up, uh, that third camera did die about 20 minutes before burst. A burst happened at 90, about 91,000, I think it was 91,462 feet, uh, which is a little disappointing. That's actually the lowest altitude we've achieved so far. Um, and this, this 800 gram balloon had some, 
um, some very interesting looking material at the top, like little splotches of it almost looked like it was paint. Um, and that seems to be exactly where the balloon broke. We didn't get a big break with shredding apart. It actually just tore open and we actually got most of the balloon back, came back down with the flight and it tore open right at that spot. So we're wondering if maybe that was also a manufacturer's defect in that balloon. It would be kind of strange, two balloons with manufacturer's defects because we had one with the hole in it um, that was definitely not from us. And you know, there was a watermark around the hole and that hole was right dead center in there. So, um, you know, it was a brand new balloon that we had just gotten in and we were very careful with latex gloves and tarps down to make sure nothing punctures it. And uh, it didn't look like something that, that we could have possibly done. Um, so anyways, the 800 gram broke what I would consider to be a little bit on the early side. We were, even with the 800 gram balloon, we were expecting 95,000 feet. Uh, we got 91,000 feet. Last year we flew 600 gram balloons and all of our flights last year were higher than that. So even with this 800 gram balloon, we still didn't achieve um, over 91,000 feet. So that was a little disappointing, but we did get some great some great video we'll take a look um but real quick before we get to the video we'll talk about the landing story here so um so uh tracking system worked great throughout the whole flight um uh, right up until landing we got our last transmission at about 2,000 feet um, which is pretty uh, pretty normal once you get below 2,000, it can be spotty with trees and buildings and things like that you might not receive a transmission at that point um, and the landing elevation was about 1,500 feet. So we were only talking 500 feet. That's like seconds from landing. Um, so we, uh, we were about half hour behind the landing. So it landed, we still had half hour to get there. Um, we left the launch site a little bit late by the time we had packed up. Um, but we got there, got on site, and normally we have two ways of finding it. We have our backup tracker, uh, but this area, the backup tracker is a, a cell service that turns on once it hits the ground the cell phone service turns on and then it starts broadcasting its position but the area we landed in we found out when we got there had zero cell phone reception i mean absolutely zero reception we couldn't place a call we couldn't even open up google maps to figure out where we were um we were zero cell reception in this landing zone so the backup tracker wasn't working so option number two is usually we have an antenna on top with radio tracking equipment and we can just find the position with the radio tracker but in a i guess a boneheaded move on my part is i took our radio tracking laptop we got two laptops the broad the live broadcast laptop which is the one i'm using now and we've got our radio tracking laptop i put the radio tracking laptop in one of our other team members cars for them to take back to our house and didn't realize that we were going to need that. So we didn't have the radio tracking laptop with us. So we're trying to figure out, well, maybe we can download the radio tracking to the broadcast computer, but we didn't have cell reception. So we're like, all right, now what do we do? And meanwhile, we had our handheld radios and we could hear the, the broadcast coming through loud and clear. So we knew it was close. We just couldn't figure out where it was. So we're walking through the woods, just trying to look around. Um, turns out somebody Somebody found it, they called us, left us a voicemail, and we did. Uh, we got, got back in touch with them because uh, we didn't receive their call until we, we found a, a little tiny spot where we actually got cell signal. Got their call, got back in touch with them. We did pick it up. About a, it took us about an hour after we got there to figure out what was going on. Um, so we picked it up, and then we were, uh, we were good to go. And we got some, some fantastic uh, photos and videos from the flights. So... So from that, I guess let's uh, let's take a look at them. Let's see what they look like here. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull it up here. So the first thing I want to show is uh, let's see. We can bring that volume down a little bit. We don't need to hear it. Um, uh, okay. Just give me one second. I gotta queue up some videos here. I've got uh, a couple of videos to share. Quite a few actually that uh, that we can show. Um, Oh, where is my slide for the videos? All right, bear with me one second. Oh, there it is. Got moved since the last time I did the broadcast. Last time I did last time I did my broadcast, it was at the bottom of my list, but it got 
got moved or resorted somehow to the top of the list here. So I just got to pull it back up and put it. Oh, oh. Let's see. Will we do it? No. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. We can do this. We can do this. Bear with me one second if you're still here. It's running out of battery. I'm trying to make sure the broadcast survives. Oh boy. Okay, it seems like we're we're getting good signal here now. But uh, just bear with me one second. We're gonna try to save this broadcast before we uh, before it starts disconnecting here. Um. Okay, hold on. All right, so I think our broadcast is surviving here. You let me know if you can't hear anything. Um, but I think we're good. Or let me know if you can hear something. Um, all right. So back to video. Let's get uh, let's get some video action here. Um, so that's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to save the uh, save the live broadcast. I'm getting somebody to bring me a uh, phone charger here. Awesome. Thank you. Phone phone's running our running our internet connection. So hold on. Let me plug this in. plugged in here now we should be here, let me get my microphone back on all right hopefully this uh, that will save our save our broadcast here so now let's get to let's get to some video here that's what we really want to see right some video. Okay, all right, so there we go. We've got some video up. I know we probably should hit play on that video. There, so, so this is a look at uh, our upward facing camera. Um, like I said, we didn't get all the way up to balloon burst on this, uh, on this camera. But we did get um, we did get some video of it. It's interesting to see. I mean, there's not you know we've got about an hour's worth of looking at the balloon, um, you know, which is okay, but it's not great. Um, um, sorry, I'm distracted by my internet connection. Trying to make sure that the broadcast stays smooth. Okay, um, so. So we get a lot of this. I mean, one thing that is interesting that I saw, well, it, it's a couple things. This does tell us that our setup looks great. Uh, you know, we're looking directly at the sun, but look, the setup works great in the sense that the balloon is in the frame. One of the things we're worried about is, is this balloon even gonna be in the frame? Because it was hard to hard to really test that ahead of time. So balloon's right in the frame, almost dead center the whole time, which is great. So we'll use this setup again next time we try. Um, there's not, we were worried, you know, maybe the balloon's gonna look too far away or the radar reflector is gonna get in the way and it really doesn't, it looks okay. Um, and one thing you can see is, um, you know, if you look at one of the earlier, oh, that's still on the ground. Let's see, this is right when we're about to launch. There we go. So this is one of the early videos um, just, at, just after launch. And look at the size of the balloon, pretty small looking. 
And then if you jump right away, so watch the size of that balloon if you jump to the la one of the last videos. Look at the size of the balloon now. Still the same distance from the camera, much bigger. It's very interesting to see. We're really going to try it. Probably next flight we'll try again to get the balloon burst because um, it is interesting to see how that balloon grows the entire time. Um, so I thought, thought thought that was something interesting. And we may get a nice photo out of this after all. You know, the, the balloon kind of flirts with the sun. And sometimes when it goes, you know, it's kind of cool to see the rays of the sun coming out. And a, and a couple times you get like a, uh, a balloon eclipse right directly over the sun. And when it does that, uh, you actually get kind of a cool a cool picture of it. Um, let's see if, I don't know if it'll do it here in this video. Uh, of course, now that I'm wanting it to do it. Uh, it, it won't because <laughs> um, it does look pretty neat uh, but even even without it you can get a cool cool video with the sun up at the or a cool photo with the sun up at the top of the frame or something like that um, or if the sun goes out of frame briefly like like that you get a nice little view with a little little uh, rainbow effect there uh, so that's not those aren't too bad um, but let's look at, uh, so, I mean, that's all we got on the balloon facing camera. Like I said, that cut out about 20 minutes early, uh, which is unfortunate. You know, we would rather that didn't cut out. Um, but let's look at some of the other videos we got here. And I got some that are better than others. Um, but both the cameras worked. We got full video on both cameras. So if we take a look at them here, we can really see um, what we got here. So here's a... This is shortly after liftoff here. We got some great shots of Canandaigua Lake. Like, look at this. Look at this still shot here. This is a beautiful, beautiful view of Canandaigua Lake. Nice, clear day with no clouds. You can get this. Uh, I'm actually going to even I'm gonna take that snapshot now while I'm while I'm looking at it because that's a great view of Canandaigua Lake there. Uh, you can get uh, take a whole bunch of these snapshots because these are these are great and even. Even if you get uh, over to the side, you can see some of these, uh, some of the other Finger Lakes here. Um, and this is still pretty low altitude. Um, so usually what I do when I get these videos to start with is I kind of jump around a little bit. Uh, we get a, got a lot of spinning on this flight at some of these low altitudes. Um, so uh, hopefully you don't get sick from the, the spinning. Um, but we're getting some great views here and this is only this is just shortly after launch here some view of the finger lakes so you'll hear me say that a lot because I think one of the big takeaways from this is the views we got from the finger lakes are fantastic so that's shortly after launch this is a little longer after launch oh, this is actually closer to burst but um, this is starting to get this little bob and weave going on but now you can see the finger lakes from from up high we're starting to get a little blacker in the sky here's uh this is seneca lake at the bottom of the frame cuca lake uh on the left side just under the clouds then canadegua lake is about mid frame a little towards the right side it's a little bit faded hard to see but that's where we launched from so a little bit of cloud cover to the south there um, but directly underneath is pretty clear uh, and you get some great shots here, like Finger Lakes, as it bobs up and down. When it bobs to the downward end, you get some pretty good views. Uh, so then we can go even higher, and you still get, you know, here's more, more views of the Finger Lakes. You get, like, these views here. These are fantastic. Let's see, and then where's the burst here? We're we're coming up on burst. There's some more uh, some more video from this camera. More view of the Finger Lakes. So there again, Seneca, Cuca, Canada, You got Lake Ontario on the right hand side. You can even see. Uh, Canadian land on the far side of Lake Ontario, which is pretty amazing. You can, I mean, hard to make out the uh, city of Rochester, but that is up there. Oh, you can see my mouse here on the th I didn't know you could see my mouse. Um, that's good. I could have used that yesterday. Um, 
Let's so let's see. One of these is going to be a balloon burst here is somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is the one with the balloon burst. So again, the burst wasn't that big of an event. It just kind of you know, if you if you turn the audio on, it just kind of go there it is. So it didn't really toss the payload around. It just kind of went poof and then then the payload dropped. You get a, a view like this, which is kind of a payload just drops off to the side. You're looking like straight down, basically, right, right at the ground. And this is the side wing, side facing camera. Um, so you know it's jostling all over the place. Ooh, that was kind of a cool view. Here, let's see if we can get that. Yeah, like that's that's the view I was looking for. This is like looking straight down at these two lakes here. Not sure which ones those are, Seneca and uh, whatever this lake here is. I think I think this is Seneca. This is Cuca. There's Canadagua Lake way up at the top of the frame. Um, so that's there. Oh, I probably should get Periscope up on my phone. I thought I had Periscope on my phone because I can't see anybody's comments. If anybody's commenting on it, not sure if anybody is. So if you're on Periscope and you commented. Um, you're going to have to comment again because I missed it. Um, so let's see here. Okay, there we go. Just wanted to get that up and running. Uh, oh, I probably should have just left the video playing while I was doing that so you can actually see it. Um, and so, oh, I don't mean to be changing the volume. So then we got landing. Let's see, I got, I got two landing videos. That's already landed. I'm not sure. One of them is better than the other, at least in my opinion. Not sure which one this is here, but even here you got some great views. You know, the grass is looking real green. It's very, again, very, very clear the whole way here. So this is uh, this is the landing. Kind of skip ahead a little bit. A lot of open field. There's some trees in the area, but fortunately we stayed away from the trees. We didn't land anything in the trees, which was nice. Um, so here we are coming in for that landing. Should just be seconds away. This is about when we got our last transmission here. And I've still got to add in, uh, I'm going to take all the data we recorded and I'll add them in, uh, add in the telemetry information when we actually put a video on YouTube that'll have, uh, you know, the actual altitudes on there. I got to sync those up with the video. Um, but right now, uh, oh, there's a good look straight down here as it's coming in and wobbling around. We should get, let's see, I'm not sure if this is the, there's, basically, there's one that looks at the ground right as it comes in. There's one that looks at basically like the backside as it comes in. I don't know which one this is. I think this is the one looking right at the ground. This is the better of the two I, I like, the one I like better. So you actually see the ground coming. And landing with the balloon there. I kind of like that that look of the balloon when it flips around and you actually get to see see the balloon fall. So, and this is the person's house that we uh, we landed in. And they found it in their yard and picked it up and then there's the balloon coming down. So, nice easy landing right in the middle of uh, somebody's yard. Made for uh, easy recovery. Nothing in the nothing in the trees. Nothing in the power lines. Thank goodness. Um, so that was a much much nicer landing than before. Um, and so let's see. We'll pause this video. Let's take this out here. We'll show you the other angle. So we got the other stuff from the other camera here. Um, doesn't look much different. I mean, the only thing that's really different is going to be uh, that landing. Uh, let's see which one. Oh, so that's on the ground already. Fast forward a little bit. Yeah, so here's this one coming in. This coloring looks a little bit different than the other video as well. I like the coloring on the other video. Um, and so this is looking at the back side. You still see the ground coming a little bit, but in this one you actually get to see. So it's it's like the the parachute went went down one side, and the balloon went down the other. So you can see the the balloon at the bottom of the frame there, the parachute at the top of the frame, obviously, and that uh, parachute, the radar reflector, 
the parachutes kind of come down at the uh, the back side of the back side of the box, and then you see the the string there from the balloon coming down the top side. Um, so there's a there's a nice nice view of that landing. I mean, most of the other views, um, you know, you have similar views of I like these these view this view here of the Finger Lakes. You get to see all the Finger Lakes there, and that's uh, that's a great view that I've already clipped already. Some more views of the Finger Lakes. Like I said earlier, you're going to hear that a lot because I think that's one of the big takeaways here. You get this view here, and you can see I don't know what the which uh, which Finger Lakes these are here, um, and I don't know what this. Uh, this lake here up at the top, but that's, uh, um, it starts with an L, but I'm drawing a blank on it, but that's the city of Syracuse right here, uh, this is Oneida Lake here, Lake Ontario, Finger Lakes, uh, so you get, we got some great views here, you know, again, more great views of the Finger Lakes. love when it dips down like that and you get to see that full view you can see Rochester up here this is again Canandaigua Lake we launched from right here and we can see some of the uh, let's see so this is after we'd already launched so I'm gonna see the actual launching of it that's pretty much right here so there's me holding the payload box three two one go leaving our launch site and away it goes. Look at that. I didn't even notice that before. But you get the big shadow of the balloon on the parking lot, the school parking lot there. And away it goes. Nice view of the school. And it spins around. You can get a, you know, if we fast forward a little bit, I think there's some nice views. If it spins around again, oh, there's the school with its new, new football field and parking lots and stuff that they just put in. Let's see, here's the city of Canandaigua. There's, this is a nice low level view of the lake here. So yeah, we got some, some great views of the, uh, of everything. Great views of, of the, the cities at low altitudes here. Great views of the lake. Uh, you know, even you get a, even just a little bit higher. And although it does, you know, it's hard to watch these these uh, lower altitude ones just because they spin so much, um, but you do get some great some great clear views. Um, you know, I think I like and I don't know. I think I did uh, settings differently on the two cameras to see which one I liked better. Now I got to go back and look at which camera had which, but um, I think the coloring or the white balance on the other camera that we had I like better this is a little more not quite as reddish this is a little bluer which I, I'm sure we could adjust that with post processing as well but this one I just feel like this looks a little more natural I like this look better a little bluer as opposed to the other one because um, your greens really your greens really pop out of this one here, uh, especially like when it comes to that landing video. Uh, you know the grass, the green grass and everything really pops in this video here. So I like this view much better than the other view, um, at least color wise. Look at this. Plus, I also like this uh, this landing approach better. I know the land for me. There it is. For me, I, you know, I like the high altitude videos. Obviously, otherwise, I wouldn't be wouldn't be doing this. Um, but one of my favorite parts of the flight is the landing video. I can't tell you why, but I love watching the landing video. I don't know. I can watch this over and over again. I just love watching it come in and hit the ground and see you know, see where it's going to land, because the whole, you know, where it's going to land is just a mystery the entire time, until finally it, it lands, and I don't know, to me, I just love watching the landing video, um, 
and we can watch, uh, let's see, where's, we watch the other launch video. Uh, yeah, so here's, this is us starting the, the launch procedure here. Still holding the, holding the box. Oh, there it is, we launched, so back this up here. Too far, so there it is, so then there's the launch. And away it goes. So yeah, that's, uh, oh, here, let me back this up. I wanted to see what kind of view we got of the school here right after we launched. So this is kind of facing away from the school the whole time until it does kind of, oh, no, didn't want to turn there. Turn around. There's the lake. First look at the lake from this camera here. Come on, turn. Oh, yeah, you kind of get a view of the school there. Not quite as clear as the other view, but you do get a view. So, um, anyways, that's about uh, that's what we got for video. So we've got a lot to go through. Like I said we got three cameras. You know, the one with the balloon burst. I mean, that's uh, that's going to be pretty simple to go through. It's looking at the balloon. Not much happening there. The other videos, uh, those will take a while to go through, so there's uh, um, you know, a little over two hours of video on two cameras, so we've got four hours worth of video. We'll come up with some condensed versions and uh, put those on YouTube starting this week. We'll get some photos, we'll start putting some of those out as well. Um, but just wanted to give everybody a quick preview of, uh, of what, these, what these videos look like, you know, what we captured. Also wanted to make sure that we did something specific for our uh, our YouTube followers um, just because the uh, um, you know we we had such a, a hard time with the mobile bandwidth yesterday and and not being able to uh, to broadcast to YouTube like we had planned um, you know is super unfortunate you know usually we try to broadcast to Facebook and YouTube at the same time but you know the unfortunate thing is we're um, we're doing this mobile, so it's not like we can plug into um, you know a regular Ethernet or network connection somewhere and get uh, you know fiber optic speeds. Uh, you know we're we're stuck with whatever our mobile data options are at the time when we uh, when we launch the flight. So. Um, so that's an unfortunate thing. We're we're always trying to come up with better ideas on how we can how we can improve our bandwidth because everything we do is mobile. Uh, launch is mobile. The, uh, the recovery is mobile. The landing's mobile. You know, it's not until we get back here and you know, usually it's late at night and we're exhausted. And you know, we I did do a Facebook broadcast yesterday, um, and now I'm doing this one today on Periscope and YouTube. Um, so it's uh, it, it is uh, it, it's tough to get the live streams from a mobile standpoint. We do use we use something called uh, network channel bonding, which is basically it takes uh, we use multiple phones and tablets and basically try to combine all these these signals together to get a big bandwidth allowance. Um, and sometimes it works great, sometimes not so much. You know, we're really trying, we're trying to improve that as much as we can, because um, that is, uh, I think that's going to be the only way that we can improve that mobile, that mobile upload speed. So, so anyways, um, let's see. Let me open up. Uh, so I don't see any comments coming through on Periscope, um, and I don't see any comments coming through on YouTube at the moment. Uh, let's see, I do see some Twitter notifications, so before we cut it out, let's see, we've got some retweets, some likes, um, I don't see any, don't see any comments, so if you're watching, if you got any questions, you know, let me know, because uh, I'm just about ready to wrap this up here, um, but uh, if not, um, you know, we're just about getting ready to wrap up, we got uh, a couple people joining the uh, the Periscope feed here. Um, so if you're just joining, um, you, we're, uh, 
just taking a look at videos from yesterday's flights um, you know this is a preview here of just raw video right directly from uh, one of the side view cameras on the flight so this is sitting uh, let's see what video did we play it's pretty close to our burst altitude so this is probably around 85,000 feet or so uh, approaching almost 90,000 feet um, from yesterday's flight so so this is just about to the peak of the flight like I said 85 90,000 feet um, right here so so we're getting ready to uh, to wrap things up um, and uh, you know make sure you take a look on uh, later this week we'll have like I said some photos and we'll do some some condensed videos uh, a little bit later on uh, to try to make these easier to to view so you don't have to view the whole uh, you know five hours of video that we have um, but uh, yeah I think that's pretty much all I got to share again apologies that uh, that we missed the YouTube broadcast yesterday we're gonna try to try to get that improved for better mobile bandwidth next time I don't know if we got to add more devices or what what we're gonna have to do because we had we had three devices running our our network connection yesterday and it still didn't give us enough bandwidth we were getting like four megabits per second which is barely enough to run one stream so so in that case you know make sure you check out the uh, um, or subscribe or follow our Facebook page because usually when that happens uh, our Facebook page is the one that that gets first priority could um, and then comes our YouTube page uh, second um, so make sure if you're not following our Facebook page, make sure you head over to Facebook, facebook.com slash Overlook Horizon, and, uh, and follow that, uh, uh, that, uh, that page there so that if it does happen again, then at least you, uh, you can check out the, um, you'll actually get to see the flight. So, um. So, yeah, there, I just want to throw it up on the screen there, facebook.com slash Overlook Horizon. Um, we've got our Twitter page and our Instagram page as well. We'll be throwing photos up on Instagram for sure this week here. So uh, definitely check out our, uh, all three of those will get photos, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We'll put photos on all of them. Um, so definitely check those out. But uh, I think that's pretty much all I've got to cover today. Um, and just wanted to get you a, a sneak peek, uh, sneak peek, sneak peek on uh, what the videos look like um, but we'll get uh, we'll get some more videos uh, put out uh, later this week so thanks everybody for watching and uh, we'll see you all soon thanks again